Now, when I saw this ATEM setup, I just had to have it for myself. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, I've been documenting the behind the scenes process of setting up for a live stream and hybrid event. In particular, in the boxing video, I had to carry around this huge external monitor that was just simply heavy and took up a lot of space on the small table that I had. And then the real estate conference event, I had this portable monitor that did the work except it was just small. This setup has changed the game and I can't wait to use it for more upcoming events. Hey, what's going on everybody? Monty Weaver here, helping you navigate this world of digital tech and social media. And today I'm gonna share with you my Center Rails travel ATEM setup. If you travel and do events using your ATEM, you know that simplicity ease of use, functionality, or things that you're really concerned about. I know I am. Now, when I saw this particular setup, it checked off all the boxes for me. So let me walk you through what is going on here and how you can get set up just like this. I'm gonna link to everything that I'm using here in the description below this video. Let's check it out. So let's first get started with the computer. I use an Acer Predator i7 32 gig laptop. This allows me to host my live streaming through different platforms such as OBS, Wirecast, Zoom in some cases, but for hybrid conferences, I love using the Vista platform in particular. And if you haven't checked that out, there's a free link to get started there, especially if you're producing events on behalf of clients. So without having to lug around a big heavy monitor or settle for a little small seven inch monitor, I'm actually using a 13 inch monitor on this setup. So the top monitor in this setup is my secondary monitor, which is showing my ATEM software control. And you know if you've done any of these types of events or you live stream in general having two monitors is just better than having one now just below that monitor you'll see two additional monitors and one of those is going to the output of the a10 mini streams hdmi output one and the other one is going to the hdmi output two being able to monitor your live feed and the multi-view together is essential for the way I like to run my shows to make sure that I'm able to see everything in one setup. Because this setup is so small and simple, you can condense the amount of space that you're using by going vertical in this case, okay? So instead of having this complicated looking setup with a whole bunch of different devices and cables going everywhere, I have this simple setup that just looks good as well. Now to the base core of this setup, which is the Center Rails Extreme Bay. This allows me to house my A10 Mini Extreme ISO and my Stream Deck XL. So both of these powerhouse devices that we've grown accustomed to using in our production, I can house them both together in this setup. This 3D printed stand is the solution I've been waiting for because it allows me to put both of those devices together and it has a lot of ventilation built into it as well. And the part that I love about this particular setup is I can actually break this down and slide it right back under my big 49 inch monitor back at home and pack away my 13 inch monitors and save them for the next event. Now, because this is a dual purpose setup piece of equipment, it allows me to function at home and also on the road. Now I'm gonna show you how easy this system is to set up and hopefully save you one of those travel bags going to your next event. So let's get started by setting up this Extreme Bay live streaming setup. Now to get the Streamline set up going, we need the Extreme Bay. This is gonna house the A10 Mini Extreme and the Elgato Stream Deck XL. Now on the Center Rails website listed below this video, you'll see that there's a bunch of different 3D printed stands and combinations so you can find the one that works best for you. So if you have an A10 Mini and a Stream Deck, the regular size versions, you can get a setup for that. Now, if you have the larger versions, you can use this setup right here. The next part of our setup is the A10 Mini Extreme, which we have right here, obviously, and it just literally sits inside of this Extreme Deck. That simple. Next up is our Stream Deck XL. Same thing here. We're gonna just run our cable through the backside and set it right inside of our Extreme Deck. Two down already. Super quick. Now once the ATEM and the Stream Deck are in the 3D printed stand, we'll plug back in our power, our ethernet cable, our hard drive for recording, and our HDMI out one that will go to one monitor 
and our HDMI out two that will go to our second monitor. Also, we'll plug in our USB that goes over to our computer. And then we'll also plug in a camera. The same HDMI cables that are coming out of HDMI 1 and HDMI 2 is the same cable I'm using to come out of my laptop. So all three of these cables are consistent, which will be for our external monitor that sits on top of this setup. So now we'll add on our monitors. I use three 3K monitors that fit perfectly inside of this stand. So we'll set one monitor into the stand, grab our HDMI that comes out of our ATEM, plug that up along with an L bracket cable as well. And these cables make it easy to keep this whole setup clean. We'll add our second monitor, HDMI and power as well. Plug that and set that up into our second area. Then we'll grab our Extreme Bay connection piece for our third monitor. Now you may think that it would be easy to tip this monitor over, but this is printed firm and this setup is nice and steady. So unless you have a big personal jolt against it, it's not going anywhere. So we'll set this up on top right here. And you can see it's in there pretty well. And then we'll add our third monitor on top. And this is gonna be connected to our computer. So we'll go HDMI and power. And just like that, it is all set up. If this video has been valuable to you, hit that thumbs up button. And I'll also link to those other behind the scenes live stream and setup videos. That way you can check those out yourself because now we were able to take a complex system and go very minimal and still get the job done and look better doing it. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.